The Book of Jubilees, Chapter 24 And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that the Most High blessed Isaac his son, and he arose from Hebron and went and dwelt at the well of the vision in the first year of the third week of this jubilee seven years. And in the first year of the first week, a famine began in the land besides the first famine, which had been in the days of Abraham. And Jacob saw lentil pottage, and Esau came from the field hungry. And he said to Jacob his brother, Give me of this red pottage. And Jacob said to him, Sell me thy birthright, and I will give thee bread, and also some of this lentil pottage. And Esau said in his heart, I shall die. Of what profit to me is this birthright? And he said to Jacob, I give it to thee. And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sware unto him. And Jacob gave his brother Esau bread and pottage, and he eat till he was satisfied. And Esau despised his birthright. For this reason was Esau's name called Edom on account of the red pottage which Jacob gave him for his birthright. And Jacob became the elder, and Esau was brought down from his dignity. And the famine was over the land, and Isaac departed to go down into Egypt in the second year of this week, and went to the king of the Philistines, to Gerar, unto Abimelech. And the Most High appeared unto him, and said unto him, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land that I shall tell thee of, and shall journ in this land, and I shall be with thee, and bless thee. For to thee and to thy seed shall I give all this land, and I shall establish my oath, which I swear unto Abraham thy father, and I shall multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and shall give unto thy seed all this land, and in thy seed will all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thy father obeyed my voice and kept my charge, and my commandments, and my laws, and my ordinances, and my covenant. And now obey my voice, and dwell in this land. And he dwelt in Gerar three weeks of years. And Abimelech charged concerning him, and concerning all that was his, saying, Any man that shall touch him, or aught that is his, shall surely die. And Isaac waxed strong among the Philistines, and he got many possessions, ox and sheep and camels and asses and great household. And he sold in the land of the Philistines and brought in a hundredfold. And Isaac became exceedingly great, and the Philistines envied him. Now all the wells which the servant of Abraham had dug during the life of Abraham, the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham and filled them with earth. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. And Isaac departed thence in the first year of the seventh week, and sojourned in the valleys of Gerar. And they digged again the wells of water which the servants of Abraham his father had digged, and which the Philistines had closed after the death of Abraham his father. And he called their names as Abraham his father had named them. And the servants of Isaac dug a well in the valley, and found living water, and the shepherds of Gerar strove with the shepherds of Isaac, saying, The water is ours. And Isaac called the name of the well Perversity, because they had been perverse with us. And they dug a second well, and they strove for that also. And he called its name Enmity. And he arose from thence, and they digged another well. And for that they strove not, and he called the name of it Room. And Isaac said, now the Most High hath made room for us, and we have increased in the land. And he went up from thence to the well of the oath in the first year of the first week in the forty-fourth jubilee. And the Most High appeared unto him that night on the new moon of the first month, and said unto him, I am the power of Abraham thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and shall bless thee and shall surely multiply thy seed as the sand of the earth, for the sake of Abraham my servant. And he built an altar there, which Abraham his father had first built. And he called upon the name of I Am, and he offered sacrifice unto the most high power of Abraham his father. 
And he digged a well, and they found living water. And the servants of Isaac digged another well, and did not find water. And they went and told Isaac that they had not found water. And Isaac said, I have sworn this day to the Philistines, and this thing has been announced to us. And he called the name of that place the Well of the Oath. For there had he sworn to Abimelech and Ahuzath his friend, and Pisal the perfect of his host. And Isaac knew that day that under constraint had he sworn to them to make peace with them. And Isaac on that day cursed the Philistines and said, Cursed be the Philistines unto the day of wrath and indignation from the midst of all nations. May the Most High make them a derision and a curse and an object of wrath and indignation in the hands of the sinners, the Gentiles, and in the hands of the Ketim. And whoever escapes the sword of the enemy and the Ketim, may the righteous nation root out in judgment from under heaven, for they will be the enemies and foes of my children throughout their generations upon the earth, and no remnant will be left to them, nor one that will be saved on the day of the wrath of judgment, for destruction and for rooting out and expulsion from the earth is the whole seed of the Philistines, and there will no longer be left for these captorum a name or a seed on the earth. For though he ascend unto heaven, thence will he be brought down. And though he make himself strong on earth, thence will he be dragged forth. And though he may hide himself amongst the nations, even from thence will he be rooted out. And though he descend into Sheol, there also will his condemnation be great. And there also he will have no peace. And if he go into captivity by the hands of those that seek his life, will they slay him on the way. And neither name nor seed will be left to him on all the earth. For into eternal malediction will he depart. And thus it is written and engraved concerning him on the heavenly tables to do unto him on the day of judgment so that he may be rooted out of the earth. That was a powerful chapter in the book of Jubilees, chapter 24. It was mainly about that part in Genesis where Esau sells Jacob his birthright for a bowl of beans. <laughs> and it's so funny because it's like, bro, you sold your birthright for a bowl of beans, home. Huh? Like a, a, bowl, a bowl of red pottage. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of making me see why his name well his nation was called edom you know what i'm saying because as it reads in verse six and jacob gave his brother esau bread and pottage and he eat till he was satisfied and esau despised his birthright for this reason was esau's name called edom on account of the red pottage which jacob gave him for his birthright and like <laughs> What's the main word in Edom? Like dumb, e dumb, because you got to be dumb to sell your birthright. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, all praise to the power of the Son of Man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, I am that I am, for finally sending the Son of Man to finally come and save the lost sheep of the house of Israel in these trying times, aka spiritual Jacob's trouble. Y'all keep your households in order. Men, be the order of the household. Women, y'all make sure the household is nice and organized. You know what I'm saying? And children, make sure you listen to your parents so you can be blessed by the Most High. All praise. Shalom.